Steve Mignani here for Ashford Auctioneers Great Texas Mopar Horde Auction Event with item number 216 216, a 1965 Chrysler Imperial Crown Coupe. This is a two door hardtop. Gotta love it. Not the big four door you might ordinarily expect. The grill is in fantastic condition. The bumper is very nice. And you gotta love these 1965 Chryslers. They all have these wonderful Perspex glass uh, lenses over the headlamps. Just looks so slick, so cool, so exotic. I love this. Uh, the pancaked hood, it's uh, flush mounted, doesn't cut down into the hood. Another one of these wonderful Chrysler uh, details of design. Let's pop open and see what we have. Okay, there it is. This is the 413 cubic inch big block wedge, four barrel carburetor, 340 horsepower, factory air conditioning, factory power drum brakes, power steering, the original radiator is intact. Of course, all the air conditioning uh, gizmos and goodies up front, everything present and accounted for. And as we roll down the passenger side of this body, we see how wonderfully straight this car is. Uh, the magnet sticks down low, and the paint here is checking. Let's see what's going on here. The magnet stick, so that is not body filler. It's not any kind of repair. It's just checking paint. That's wonderful. And this corrosion we see here is surface. That is not structural. It's not a hole. Sand it, prime it, paint it. That's good news. Okay, down low here. The quarter panel looks great, is great. The magnet sticks wonderfully all the way up and throughout. This might be the original paint on this one. And again, this is a two-door, not a four-door. So that's a wonderful thing, sportier and more exclusive. The magnet likes to stick down low. This is a nice solid door. And let's take a peek inside and see what we find here. Nice leather bucket seat interior. Uh, it was a console car, I see the mounts for it, that may be, yeah it is, in fact between the seats in the back we can kind of see the remains of that buddy seat console. So indeed, this is a sporty two-door bucket seat Imperial. Usually bucket seats and Imperial, not two words to say in the same sentence, but here it is here on this Crown Coupe. Dashboard looks really good. Love the clear steering wheel. The reproductions are available and re remedies and repairs are available. AM radio intact. Let's see if maybe there's something cool in the glove compartment. Let's pop that button and have a look inside. What do we got? There's the Chrysler's warranty thing. Oh, nice. A little mouse condominium. How cool is that? That's free, by the way. No extra charge for that. Uh, let's go to the rear quarter panel and see how that's shaping up. It looks to be solid and sweet like the rest of the car. And yeah, okay. Down here, nice and straight. The magnet is att attracted on the right side. There we go. Magnet sticks real good. Uh, I do see some checking here. What's going on? There's a magnet stick. It does. So right here, some blistering of the paint. Don't know what's up. There's no plastic in that. That's nice. Uh, lower quarter panels down here look to be fantastic and pristine. Very nice. Uh, a little bit of bubbling happening way down low, but again, that's years away from breaking through. Now this is delaminating something. A little bit of body filler there. Yeah, probably a dent. Yeah, in this region right here, a dent happened right there, so not a big deal. Deck lid is looking great. The uh, faux continental uh, shape here squared off, not rounded, so as to stay out of court with the Lincoln people who might have otherwise had a problem with Imperial aping their continental look. Rear bump is looking fantastic. Has been pulled here. Often tow truck drivers will hook here and pull, but again, that could be pushed back into position. Uh, let's go to the other side. You gotta love this asymmetrical styling license plate here on the driver's side. And this is a Texas plate, BUH331. Texas looks to be, oh, 1983 or something like that. Been a while since this one was on the road. Uh, driver's side quarter panel, also wonderful. This discoloration here, that is not coming through. If it does, that's five years away. Magnet sticks all over the place. Nice, solid quarters. Coming up further, got the 15-inch wheels. And here we go, first year for the one-piece axle. No more nut and spindle, or nut on this thing. Quarter panel down low here. Also nice and solid, good Texas metal. No rust, no secrets, no problems. Let's take a peek with the driver's side door. We look inside once again, and there's the wonderful dashboard with 120 mile an hour speedometer, air conditioning controls, power seat, power windows loaded. And uh, this was a vinyl roof car. We can see the remnants 
of the black vinyl, but happily underneath it has not rusted. Let's call this surface corrosion a Texas suntan. Looks good to me. The windshield's fantastic. It's not cracked. Uh, not broken, that could be used as it is. Inspection sticker here, Texas 1982, last time this car was inspected. Uh, front fender looking fantastic. Again, the magnet sticks high and low. And here's the correct Imperial wheels. Kind of looks like a rally wheel <laughs> from later Mopar years. Left hand lug nuts, you can see the studs here. Again, that's correct stuff on this vehicle. So what we have here is item number 216, a very well-preserved 1965 Chrysler Crown Imperial Coupe, two-door. These are pretty rare, bid accordingly.